Plout v. Spendthrift Farm Incorporated, 1994. In 1987, Ed Plout and several shareholders in Spendthrift Farm Incorporated filed suit in the Eastern Federal District Court of Kentucky that the company had committed federal securities fraud related to its 1983 public offering of stock. While their case was pending in federal court, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in Lamp v. Gilbertson that all securities fraud lawsuits must be filed within three years of the fraud and within one year of discovery. Because this decision applied to all security fraud cases pending, the federal district court dismissed the case. Since it was not appealed, the decision was dismissed as final. Soon after, Congress passed the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation Improvement Act, which required courts to reinstate cases dismissed under the Supreme Court's limitations in the Lampf case. In 1992, when the case was reintroduced in federal district court, the judge ruled that this new law was unconstitutional on the grounds that it violated the separation of powers. The case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a 7-2 decision, the Supreme Court ruled Congress overstepped its bounds by passing a law that directed the federal courts to reintroduce a case. The court ruled that Article Three of the Constitution gives the federal courts the judicial powers of the United States and that the courts have the final word on the cases, not Congress. In 